Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, coming at you with 2020 Panini Flawless Football Picker Team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're doing both briefcases, right? Go big or go home. Very big thanks to this group right here for buying your team straight up. I appreciate that here in Picker Team four. And as you have noticed, there are some number block, two different number blocks that we ran. We ran the randomizer for this. And they're all in separate videos if you want to see the results in real time. There's that one and there's this one. And of course, it works just like our number block breaks that you often see on our site, but it applies only to those teams and only for pick your team four. So let's, let's put these lists over here. There it is, flawless. Good luck. TJ's thinking three train whistles in this break. What do you think, everybody? Yeah, PJ, this is definitely fun. This is definitely, you know what else is fun? National Treasures football. We got a case of that on the site. We just need to do two black gold filler breaks, and that unlocks that one on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, check it out. Michael Robinson taking the over on those three train whistles. Anthony's also going over. Good luck. So we're going to try not to look at the encased cards. We're going to do the slider box first. And then we'll do the other briefcase. All right, there's the blockchain card I was talking about. So if it's a number block team, it'll go to zero. And it's going to be Justin Jefferson, Minnesota. I think that is a number block team. Yeah, part of that Minnesota, Pittsburgh, blah, blah, blah group. So that's going to go to Craig Thomas in the number zero. That's uh, signature gloves. All right, next up is a triple relic. All Broncos, Drew Locke, Peyton Manning, John Elway. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. All right, so that'll go to Steve Locke and the Denver Broncos. He's got all... They're all Broncos right there. We've got a nice patch here. 9 out of 15, Baker Mayfield. Cleveland Browns, John R. with that one. John with Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. 8 out of 10, Teddy Bruschi. That's another good looking set of patches there dual relic and on card auto for the Patriots it's gonna to go to Lee <laughs> yeah there you go yeah I think I think David and uh, and trendsetter has figured out who doesn't belong on that triple relic 19 out of 25 Danny white dual relic and autograph for the boys Cowboys are a number block team, part of the uh, that four team number block group. So that'll be Dallas nine. That'll be for Kevin Kelly. Was Dallas nine? Another Cowboys six out of ten. Amari Cooper two color dual relic on card autograph. So this is Dallas six. 
And that'll be for for Alex. There you go. Glowbug with Dallas Six. Uh, Ruby Auto. Cam Akers. Nice. Nine out of 20. Rams are a number block team. Rams nine is going to be for Adam Kupperman. Getting the Ruby Auto. Got a piece of a gem in there. Looks pretty cool. All right, so there you go, Adam Kupperman. And the last one here is Signature Gloves Autograph. That looks pretty cool. Jerry Judy. Six out of ten for Steve Locke and the Denver Broncos, my rivals. I don't remember that. T TJ's wondering if anybody remembers when Brewski broke his arm on live TV and walk off the field holding his arm and they showed it. I don't remember that. No, maybe I do remember that. I remember, was it like a playoff game, maybe? Playoff game, maybe? All right. Left, right, and center right here. So usually on the left and right should be the gems, and in the middle should be the autograph. Here's a dual relic. Justin Herbert and Philip Rivers. Nice. That is 8 out of 10 on that dual relic. That looks pretty nice. Chargers 8 is going to be for Alex. Glowbug with that one. And on the right side is Darius Leonard, 3 out of 5. He's pretty good. Emerald, Andrew with the Colts. Andrew, out of 5s and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Aaron can't tell the difference between the Jerry Judy and uh, I can tell you. I think I think Jerry Judy's is is like that, right? And I think Juju goes like that. So Jerry Judy is a little more loopy, and Juju Smith Schuster has has a point at the top. They are very similar, though. All right, and in the middle is going to be, we love it, Jay Hart, Jordan Love, 3 out of 15. Craig Thomas with the Green Bay Packers. If Aaron Rodgers do, does indeed, you know, leave Green Bay, that's the guy, Craig Thomas. All right, there it is, empty briefcase. This lets you know that the gems are... Uh, Lab are not lab grown, they're naturally mined. Hopefully, hopefully conflict free. All right, there's the next one. Oh, yeah, Justin Jefferson also has a double J autograph, too. I actually don't know what Justin Jefferson's autograph looks like. Maybe it's in between the, the Jerry Judy and the Juju. saying if Rodgers does indeed leave, you can get, wow, 125 to 1 odds on uh, Jordan Love to win MVP. I thought the odds would be a little bit longer than that. It'd be like 200 to 1 maybe. All right, let's see what we got in the middle here. There's Ed Reed, Patrick Queen, and Ray Lewis. Nine out of 20. If Patrick Queen could end up like either of those guys, that'd be awesome. Queen, Queen's pretty good. He could develop into that. Purple Birds, Aaron Billingsley.
Here is Burrow and Higgins. Six out of 20. Bengals, Sean Maddock hoping to hear uh, hoping to hear Burrow to Higgins for many years to come. We've got one out of five flawless achievements. Morton Anderson, 382 games, it says. I like the little happy face in his autograph, too. This is Falcons edition going to read. Last spot mojo. Uh, beginning in 1982, Anderson suited up in the NFL for 25 seasons, helping him retire following the 2007 campaign when, with an NFL best 382 games played. It's not bad for a uh, player born in Denmark who didn't kick a football, an American football, until his senior year of high school as an exchange student in Indiana. There you go. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. So, Reed, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Wait, didn't we have an over-under on this? How many, how many train whistles was that? We got one out of ten Randy White Hall of Fame autograph. Nice Randy White for Dallas. Dallas is a number block team. So that'll go to Dallas one. Dallas one is Rob. Rob Flores. Eight out of ten star swatched signatures. Bruce Smith. Buffalo! Robert with the Bills. All right, so the over-under was three. We're currently at two whistles. Michael and Anthony are saying, all right, thanks for keeping track. There you go. A couple more here. We've got Jalen Ragor, diamond autograph. That looks pretty cool. Eight out of ten. Eagles, Matthew Shira picking up the Eagles straight up. Fly, Eagles, fly. There you go. It says the diamond and autograph are guaranteed by Panini. There you go. Naturally mine, not lab grown. All right, last one here is Jonathan Taylor. Nine out of ten for the Colts. Andrew with the blue horseshoes. And we'll go left, right, and center. Left, right first. On the left side is, is a dual relic two out of two. Here's your third train whistle of the break. Isaiah Simmons. And Alex Valasakos bought the uh, Arizona Football Cardinals straight up. Alex, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. And there's the, uh, the guarantee right here that says they're naturally mined, not lab grown. On the right side, we have Sapphire Alex Smith, three out of 10. Washington football team. Washington three is for Eugene. And the last one here, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be, ooh, signature gloves and auto, Justin Herbert out of 25. And that's going to be 7 out of 25. Chargers are a number block team. So Chargers 7 is going to be for PJ. There you go, PJ. That's very nice. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The case is closed. On Flawless, pick your team number four. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep your eye on the website. We're going to try to get some more of this stuff. So thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. 
I'll see you next time for the next break. That was three train whistles, right? So I think TJ nailed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.